Hachu Misasaksi. Hello, my friends. My name is Mona Olivas Tucker, and I'm the tribal chair for Yakti Jutijo Yaktahini, Northern Chumash tribe of San Luis Obispo County and region. And our name means the people of the full moon. So this is my homeland, and uh, our tribal membership is comprised of people whose ancestry uh, dates back to this one place for thousands of years, and many of our families have never lived um, anywhere else. And so when we talk about our homeland, uh, this is the place that we are so firmly rooted to that it feels a part of us, and we're a part of it, as opposed to it being something separate from us. It's part of us, along with Yatsbasini and the ocean and Yatsjaisa, the sky, Yatsdupu is the land, and all of those commingled together um, is our homeland and uh, it's in our heart it's in our mind it's uh, really all of that flows through our bodies and our uh, lives in our DNA and it is a precious place it's it's a place that uh, is priceless and so uh, I have a lot of responsibilities as tribal chair uh, but sometimes I also act as a cultural resource monitor um, when activities are taking place uh, in our homeland and it is a um, typically something that is sad for us because if we're there that means something is being destroyed and that is just the nature of how things work but we do understand that um, people have need a place to live roads have to be built in some cases we're able to work through that in some cases we don't work through it at all and we just leave with um, our blood sweat and tears in those locations but I'm here with uh, Dusty, and uh, we've been on a project here in San Luis Obispo County. Um, it, it is going well, although it is heartbreaking that some things will be destroyed. And then getting back to some of the things that Dusty and I have been talking about is your conduct when you're on location uh, in someone's homeland, because wherever you're digging, you're in somebody's homeland. And I think it's your responsibility to know who those people are. So you might have to spend some extra time, an hour or two somewhere. Okay, who are the indigenous people? And what am I doing here? Uh, and, and how does it benefit them? How does it benefit their homeland? How does it benefit science and information? And so be respectful enough to at least know where you are and who you're impacting. And that's information that you these days can find out quite easily. And when you're on, um, when you're doing your archaeology work, don't just think about the things that you're seeing. Uh, look around, look at the hills, look at the water, look at the sky. And whatever it is that you're finding there, someone put it there. People put it there. And their descendants may be standing right next to you as the monitor. So be respectful in your conduct on how you treat those artifacts. Be respectful in your conduct of how you treat that monitor or other native people who may be standing nearby. Because you have to take my word for it in many ways. While they're watching what you're doing, their hearts are breaking. So act like a professional and act like a decent human being. And just be considerate of what it is that you're doing. Be ethical in your conduct. Be ethical in your conduct all of the time, not just when you're as an archaeologist because you're a good person and you want to maintain that. And, uh, we're good people and we want to maintain that. If there are disagreements, everybody just stay calm. Let's try to figure this, this out the best we can. Usually we can, sometimes we can't, but we um, have to always do our best. We don't want to be um, angry. Uh, we don't want anyone to be shouting. We don't want that kind of uh, emotion uh, in our homeland when we're working in those situations because that's disrespectful to the homeland and it's disrespectful in the event there may be burials nearby. So um, for now I think that's the best I can do to, to share with you some of my feelings and how I would like you to act when you're around me. Language, please keep your language clean. Um, that's not appropriate. Uh, you know, go to your homeland, go to your living room, and talk however you want. But if you're in my homeland, which is the same thing as, as my home that I live in, 
uh, please please be thinking about um, how you conduct yourself and it'll be appreciated and I want to wish you well I know you're all good people and good things will come and uh, if you ever need to talk to someone about a situation talk to your talk to Dusty or you can always call me thanks for the words Mona and your time I appreciate it you're welcome <clears throat> have a nice afternoon